Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since I've done a video. I don't really have any excuses except just that I have not really been in the mood to make videos. And I just feel like these last few weeks have been flying by. This whole pregnancy has kind of flown by with the exception of the last week and probably for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant today and I am hopeful <laughs> that maybe in the process of doing this video and everything else it'll just sort of send baby vibes and I can have this baby sooner than later. So I am very, very excited. I'm also excited to film this video because I don't think I've ever done a hospital bag video. And to be honest, in the first two pregnancies, this is my third, I, I'm packing the most for this pregnancy, actually. I feel like I've watched a lot of hospital bag, hospital bag videos where the moms have been talking about how it's their second or their third, so they've got, got this down and they're only down to the basics and they're packing way less than they used to. And I feel like I'm the opposite way. As I've kind of gone along in my motherhood journey, I have found all these products that I love. I love trying new things. I've reached a point where I really enjoy having like nicer things and I this whole process for this pregnancy has been a lot more fun for me and I'm actually packing the most that I've probably ever packed for the hospital. And I maybe am overpacked a little bit this time, but I've really been enjoying this. I, this is, these bags have been kind of packed over the course of the last couple of weeks and I've been slowly adding things and really just taking my time. But keeping that in mind, <laughs> you'll probably find that a lot of things that I have in here are somewhat unnecessary, but that's also partly because I think this is gonna be our last pregnancy, our last baby. So I'm kind of wanting to just sort of check all of the boxes this time and I make no apologies. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get on with showing you what I will be bringing with to the hospital. The first thing that you can see here is a boppy pillow. I've never actually brought a boppy pillow or any pillow to the hospital, but with my last one especially, I use the boppy all the time for feeding, and I'm also expecting to use it as my older two, my two children currently, um, are holding the baby and everything else. So I love this. I found this fabric at Joann's, and then I made this cover for it, and I just, I fell in love with it. I made this. I've used this fabric to make all kinds of things for the baby this time. I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to be bringing my boppy pillow with the cover on it. And then I have two bags, both from Jujube. That was not really intentional. I just, I like the way these bags look, but I also just really like the way they pack and kind of the function they provide. I have my Jujube Be Prepared. This is basically just like filled with all of my stuff that I would need. And then I have my Jujube Superstar. And this has a whole bunch of other stuff in it. So I think I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm not sure the best way to show you, but I will try. So I'll start with the outside pocket here. I just have my phone sitting in there. I'll definitely be having that and using that throughout labor, I'm guessing, as well as my wallet. And then in this top pocket here, I don't know if I'll take everything out, but as you can see, I have charging stuff in here. I have a charging block, and then I have a charger, a nice long 10 foot charger for my phone and then I have another charger for my Apple Watch because I feel like it'll be nice to have both of those. Between me and my husband, I'm expecting that these will get used quite a bit. Next to it here is an elastic pocket. I'm actually bringing like a little fruit or a little flavor enhancer for water. I decided not to bring like a water bottle because I know that the hospital has a nice big water jug, but I think I will drink more water if I have the option of adding some flavor to it. So I did pack that. In the little sunglasses pocket, I just have a pen in case I need that. And then in the clear front pocket right here, I have some bows. We're having a little girl. So I brought three kind of neutrally bows. Anything that I have here, I will link down below. A lot of this I did buy new for this baby. So if I have a link for it, I will leave it down below. I don't have anything in the actual bottle pockets, but I do have a passy pad over here. And I put two pacifiers. One is one of the Itsy Ritzy Soothers in the gray. And then I also packed a man pacifier. Our first never took a pacifier, but then our second did. And she prefers the man ones, so that's why I wanted to pack them. But I also kind of like the idea of having a different type of pacifier, just so that Rhea doesn't try to take them. And I'm thinking that maybe if it's a completely different shape and style, she won't want to. In the back pocket, I just have a really cheap little folder. Um, I don't even know how much I'll be using this, but I know we just get a lot of paperwork and it might be a nice spot just to sort of put it and keep the paper from completely getting bent. So I have that in the back pocket. And then when you open it up, you can see I have a whole bunch more stuff in here. So I sort of set this up a little bit. Like this is what I would need for more of the laboring aspect and what I would need. And then more of everything else is in the Superstar. Or in this front slip area, 
I have some slippers. I bought these new from Target. I knew I was going to need new slippers anyways. And I really like that these are open toed. They're super soft and comfy. I just tend to get really, really warm and it's going to be June, July when we have this baby. This way I'll have something to put on my feet that won't be like super, super hot. In this front area, I have a couple of nursing bras. These ones are from Kindred Braverly. They're my favorite right now. They're the, like the only thing that fit my giant boobs. So this is in the extra large busty. They actually have that version. This is really comfy. I've been wearing this a lot. And then it has just like the pull down ability to nurse. The plan is to nurse with this one if that works out like it did with my other two. For my other fellow moms with large, large boobs who are having a hard time finding a supportive nursing bra, this one is by Elomi. I don't know if you can read that. So mine's in a 36K, which you can see that, or 36GG. So I wear this in a 36GG. <laughs> And it actually is comfortable enough to wear for nursing. It has the little clasp to pull down, but it also is supportive enough that I feel like I can wear it leaving the house and I don't feel totally self-conscious about the way my chest looks. These are the two bras that I'll be bringing. I bought two bags of trail mix to try for snacks. I've never actually tried these before, but they got good reviews. These are the Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Caramel Trail Mix and the Mountain Trail Mix. Neither one of these are really healthy by any means, but I figured they would be potentially an option to snack on at least while I can eat. And then I have a Be Quick from Jujubee. This has my makeup in it. Um, I, I love to do my makeup. I'm not bringing all of my makeup. I'm basically bringing some easy things that make myself feel a little more presentable. I just have like a face palette that has a nice big mirror that I know I wanted to have. And then just kind of like brushes, concealer. I have a little bit of foundation. For a lot of people, this is like more than a full face. <laughs> but for me, this is just like enough to make myself feel a little more presentable if I want to take pictures or whatever. Behind that, I have some underwear. I did pack some, like, a lot of pads and then I did buy, for the first time this time, I got like the adult diapers. So I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be wearing underwear, but I just brought like four pairs of kind of like granny panty style underwears. And then for clothes, I have a robe. Oh my goodness, I love this robe so much. I will link it down below. I got it off Amazon. It's pretty thin, it's lightweight, and as you can see, it's a little bit see-through and sheer, which doesn't bother me. I got mine in black, and I have it in the extra large because I wanted to have a really generous wrap because I've been wearing it as like a maternity robe. But it has pockets, at least the style that I did have does. I feel like it's the perfect length that hits me like below the knee, but not like a long robe and it's so, so comfortable. And like I said, it has a really nice, generous wrap on it for me. So I have no issues like covering. I feel like this is probably what I'm gonna live in at the hospital and I didn't spend very much money on it. And then the fact that it's black is just perfect. So I love that. And then I have a just camisole from Target. I love these maternity camisoles because they don't have the built-in bra and they're pretty like, not like compression, but they don't like ride up or anything on me. So I really, really like these. I just have two very, basic t-shirts. These aren't like maternity or anything, but just to have something loose and comfy to put on afterwards. My favorite like sweatpants ever are these exhilaration brands from Target. These are like the joggers. They're super comfy, super soft. This is actually in a size small. I feel like they, they run maybe a little bit big, but these fit me really well. And I've been wearing these like even eight, nine months pregnant. So I really, really like these. And then the last clothing item I have is this dress that I actually just got off of Amazon. It's a nursing dress and it has the cold shoulder detail. It has pockets. <laughs> it's kind of like just below the knee for length, but then the top has this part that comes up. Let's see if I can show you that. The top has this part that comes up and then you can pull the other part down. So I figured this might be an option to wear either going home or just to have afterwards. Um, I love wearing dresses, but I find that I don't wear them so much when I have a nursing baby because obviously they tend to be kind of cumbersome to nurse in. So I'm excited to have this and so far I really like it. And then in the one pocket over here, I have a Kanga Care wet bag that's just all like rolled up to have for like dirty clothes to bring home. In the past, I've always just used like plastic bags, but ever since I started using uh, wet bags about a year and a half ago, it's my favorite thing. And then for folding them up, I just, you fold them into thirds, you roll them up from the bottom, and then you can use the little tab to wrap it around and button it on itself. And then it kind of stays more compact in your bag. So this is what we use for traveling. It's nice because you can just hang it on the door and then I can just throw all my dirty clothes and Luke's dirty clothes if he has any in there. And then the last item that I have over here is a medium set piece from Jujubee. And in here I have a camera lens, a camera battery, and like a little mini tripod. That's the one thing I regret about my first two pregnancies is that I didn't take like any pictures really. 
and I'm hoping that this one I can capture a lot more. Um, and then obviously my camera, which I'm filming on right now, will also be going in here. So I think that's everything for this bag. As you can see, I didn't really pack anything for Luke. Um, I have toiletries, which is gonna cover pretty much all of his needs. And then probably he'll just pack like a couple pairs of underwear and a t-shirt. I think he'll stay the first night at the hospital and if I do end up staying a second night with the baby, I think he's probably just gonna take our other two home so that they can be home with him. So I don't know how much he's actually gonna be at the hospital, but at least for the first night, he'll have pretty much everything he needs with what I packed and he'll just grab like a pair of underwear and a t-shirt, like I said, on the way out. So now we can move on to the Superstar. On top, I have my pillow. It's a memory foam pillow, so it's kind of easy to sort of wrap up. I never brought a pillow with either of my other two. And with this one, I was like, I'm going all out. I'm bringing my own pillow because I want to sleep well and I am kind of a pillow snob. And then I bought this really cheap satin pillowcase from Walmart for like $3 just so that um, there wouldn't be any confusion about which pillow is which because we use white pillowcases so then I just did that and honestly it doesn't take up as much room as I thought it was going to especially since it's a, like a memory foam I can really kind of make it nice and small so I am bringing that and here I have a planet wise packing case and this has everything for the baby basically I know they don't really need much but I wanted to have some things cute like blankets and stuff again for pictures partly so the first thing I have is a letter board, which I'm not gonna show entirely because we haven't, we, we're pretty sure on her name, but not 100%. So anyways, I have this so I can take a picture with her after she's born. And then in here, um, I have a lot of Copper Pearl stuff. So I have a Copper Pearl multi-use cover, which can be used as like a nursing cover or um, car seat cover or whatever else. But that one is in the bloom print. I also have that in a swaddle, which I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pack um, for myself just to use because I honestly love using copper pearl blankets for myself or not, I'm not sure. But I also don't really want to get them all like gross <laughs> because until they get their bath, I know the babies tend to just kind of like, I don't know, whatever Rhea used for blankets afterwards like definitely needed to be washed the moment we got home because they were just kind of covered in like that afterbirth grime. So I also packed some sort of like cheap muslin blankets to use for swaddling and stuff right afterwards just because like I said I don't want to get all of my nicer swaddle blankets like covered in yuck right away. So I'm not sure exactly how many of those I'll be packing. So these are just like a couple, this one's Aiden and I. This one's like a no-name brand, I think. But I love muslin swaddles. We typically use these more for like just spots to lay the baby down or for burp cloths and whatever else. But they will be nice in the hospital just to use. It's like ways to wrap up the baby when people hold them and stuff. And like when they come out, you know, I know they tend to just wear those like half onesie shirts so that they're easier access for to be checked on and stuff. But I just brought those two. And then I did bring one copper pearl swaddle. This is in the olive print. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, that one I'm really, really excited about. I love the colors in this one. And then for outfits, I didn't bring a lot, but I wanted to have some partly just because, you know, I think they're cute. <laughs> I have two newborn sleepers. These both have the zippers and this one's the Cloud Island kind that has a zipper that goes from the bottom. And these might be what she goes home in, I'm not sure. And then I got these two cute tie gowns. They look kind of big, so I don't know if they're gonna fit her right away. Um, but I think this one's absolutely gorgeous and I like that this one has some black in it so that if I end up taking a picture with my robe, this one would sort of go well with that. And so that's why I got that one, super cheap on Amazon. And then I have another knot bottom gown that I got from Amazon as well. This one is in just kind of a black and white so this is a nice like gender neutral option. Again, kind of big so I might have to like roll the sleeves and stuff depending on how big she is coming out. But this one did come with a little hat if we decide to use it. And then the only other newborn outfit I brought is this cute little one because I think it's adorable. But also because my five-year-old thought it was super cute. So this one might be an option too for going home just to, depending on if she's a baby that is kind of hot or not. I brought a little mittens and some socks. I don't know if we'll need them or use them, but they don't take up much space, so I figured why not. And then I did bring two three-month outfits just in case she's, you know, kind of big, which right now she is measuring pretty large. So just in case she doesn't fit into newborn stuff. My other two kids weren't like small at all. Melody was eight pounds, six ounces, and Rhea was seven and a half pounds. And they still both wore newborn clothes for almost an entire month. So I'm not, I'm th thinking she'll probably wear newborn, but just in case this one is another little three month onesie, just in case she doesn't fit into the newborn clothes we brought. And then the other two things I have in here are this Planet Wise packing cube as well 
can't remember the exact sizes of these. I will try to remember what they are down below. I think the pink one is the large, mm, medium, and this is the small, I think. Again, I will double check and let you know in the description box. This one has all of like the bathroom stuff that I'm gonna want, mainly for after, after birth. So these are the, like the adult diapers that I was talking about, the always, these are the always boutique discreet. <laughs> I don't know for sure if I'm gonna use these. In the videos that I've been watching, a lot of people recommended these. I didn't use them with my other pregnancies, but I do remember feeling frustrated that pads and underwear weren't the most comfortable, and I feel like they just weren't the most protective. So I brought five, six of these. It came in a pack of 12, I think. So then I'll have some when I come home as well. I also just have a whole bunch of like overnight pads to have, because I know I'll be using these either or at the hospital or afterwards. These I did bring with my last pregnancy and I actually did like having my own. I know the hospital does provide them too, but I liked having some of these because I, I know what I like and what feels good and that's these. And then I just brought some wipes and some hemorrhoid cream because that has another been another thing that I've wanted to have after both my other births. The last thing in the main compartment of the Superstar is this Mary Kay toiletry roll-up case. I'll just go through this quickly. So I don't actually ever take these off. They do have the capability to like Velcro off of the main part, but we use this as our main toiletry bag. It has a nice hanger. You can just leave it somewhere in the bathroom. And then pretty much everything we need is here. Glasses, contact solution, contact case, and chapstick. I think I'm actually gonna move the chapstick to might be prepared because I'm probably gonna want that throughout labor for sure. Here I have two toothbrushes. I just went ahead and bought us new toothbrushes. And then I've got deodorant and some body spray. Down here I have my hairbrush and then I did get some travel shampoo and conditioner because I wanna have my own with some hair ties. And then in the bottom I have some of my micellar water which is really nice for removing makeup with some cotton pads, some moisturizer and some face wash just so that I have kind of all of my own toiletry stuff just to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable afterwards. And then the last thing that I have packed is in the back slip pocket of the Superstar. And what I have back here is a Super B from Jujubee, also folded up. And it's just like a nice big unstructured tote bag to be able to put inevitably all the leftover stuff that doesn't fit in all of the, these bags when we go home because that always ends up happening. And it doesn't take up hardly any space when it's folded up like that. So I figured it'd be nice to have, whether it's paperwork, extra diapers, or whatever else. So I think that's pretty much everything that I'm bringing. There might be a couple last minute things that I grab on the way out, but I feel pretty confident that these are all the things that I'm going to want for the labor and delivery process for baby number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as well as leaving as many links as I can in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.